I was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy when I was about three years old, a little younger than that. So ever since I was three years old, I would go out into the streets with people and be the poster child for my condition. And I'd be like, you're helping me by raising this money. I didn't ever think I really had a talent for writing because I would just do it for fun when I was little. But then when I went into high school and I started taking it more seriously, like really putting effort into like essays and stuff like that, I decided, oh my gosh, I actually kind of like this. And my teachers said, you're kind of good at it too. So then I decided I wanted to go into a major that I could use that writing, but also still be creative. And I found that PR was probably the best option for me to combine all of those things. I went to the career and internship office because I haven't gotten an internship yet and I've been trying really hard and I thought that I was doing something totally wrong but it's not that I was doing anything wrong it's just that I wasn't doing all the right things so I had a meeting with Julie Miller and she helped me fix my resume up and find some opportunities that would be better for me more attainable and Julie helped me find better options for internships and she coached me a little bit on what to do. And she was actually very kind with my situation. I told her that I can't be on campus a lot right now. And we finished our hour long meeting time slot and she sent me an email and she was like, I wanna follow up with you. And so we had another meeting for an hour and we just talked about like me being on campus and anything she could do to help me make my life easier and help me get an internship still at the same time. I got an interview with like my dream internship, but I don't wanna say anything because I don't wanna jinx it. I just am super excited about it and I, I hope it works out. My dream job is to do PR or press or something for a musician or something within the entertainment industry, but music would definitely be the place that I would like to end up. I came to this path because I went to a concert when I was 16 at Ohio State and, ooh, sorry about that. Um, it was the best night of my life, truly. It was a life-changing experience and I knew that I wanted to be a part of it somehow. I had just the best time. The atmosphere, being in a place where everyone was there and happy, there was just nothing like it. So. I was like, I need to figure out where I fit into this equation because I want to be part of it. So I know that there's a stigma around people with disabilities, especially people with visible disabilities, because people treat me differently in person than they would if I were on Zoom when they couldn't see my whole wheelchair. Um, for example, sometimes people talk to me like I'm a toddler or something when they see me and that just grinds my gears like i am 20 years old i am in college with you i don't want to be talked to like i'm a toddler i can't speak for an entire community but for me um i've been told about things that i can't do or i won't do and that's pretty much constant even from myself sometimes i'll tell myself oh i can't do that but that's without even trying if i want to do something I'm sure there's a way for me to do it. And I'm tired of people telling me that I can't do things. So I decided I'm going to college and it's gonna be exactly what I want it to be. And I've had to fight pretty hard to get certain things that I've wanted and it hasn't always worked out, but I know that I deserve an equal opportunity just like everybody else. And even if it's exhausting, even if I have to fight for it, I'm going to do it. Just because other people say that I can't, I'm gonna show them that I am.